Hi everyone, uh, in this uh, short video I will explain uh, how you can solve the following issue. So uh, as you can see I have an error message telling me that uh, SQL state, um, that's what is important here, it's already the uh, error code, so it's uh, 1045 access denied for user blah 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 localhost using password yes. So actually if you are facing this given issue, I guess that uh, what you probably did is the following thing. So um, you are probably facing this issue if you are migrating or if you migrated uh, your Matomo instance to another instance. Uh, the typical use case is the following one is when you are changing uh, your web hosting platform. So let's imagine uh, OVH, for example, and you are moving to another platform such as uh, one and one. So, uh, when you are changing your web hosting provider, probably you are changing your website uh, as well. Uh, of course, here uh, I put over H and here one in one, but it could have been uh, the other way around or to any third party platform and so on and so forth. So, uh, the full story is the following one. Uh, when you registered for the first time to your web hosting platform, they sent you actually different credential access. One for the FTP, SSH, SFTP access, or whatever you want, in order to transfer the files, uh, which are the one of Matomo and probably the one of your website as well. And in addition to that, they provided you as well an access to a database which has as well its own uh, credential, right? So probably what happened is that when you migrated from uh, one web hosting platform to the other one, what you did is that you transferred uh, the database, which is uh, which is fine, as well as the file, right? You transfer everything's correct, but what you may have not done is actually you may have uh, not changed the credential within the config files of Matomo. So actually, what I'm saying now is probably uh, taking more sense for the people who are used uh, to CMS such as WordPress, where you have a file named the WP. Uh, config.php file where you need to change and indicate what are the new uh, credentials for the database. And that's the same thing for Matomo. So this is what I'm going to show you right now. Within the Matomo file, right, so uh, of your new web hosting platform, you need to indicate what are the new credentials of the database in order to have these connections uh, happening. So actually, those uh, this file where you need to change, um, let's say, the information regarding the credential is named uh, config.php and is included within the folder named config. So uh, here is an example of how this uh, file looks like. So um, here is the config.ini.php file that I was talking about. And here, exactly like for WordPress, the wp uh, config, you have exactly the same thing, right? Here they expect to um, uh, receive actually where is uh, the database uh, hosted? So here you need to indicate the URL. So it will be in your case, the newer URL where uh, you have the file hosted. There uh, you need to indicate what is the username of the PHP may admin database uh, to indicate as well the password, to indicate as well the name of the database if, if it has been changed within the new database and the table prefix. So, in my case here, it's just that one credential was wrong. Uh, instead of uh, writing the username Ronan, it's actually uh, Ronan. Uh, and here, as you can see, the message is the following one. So if I, let's say, go over here, and if I change it to the right uh, credential, which is uh, Ronan, and that I'm going back up here, and let's say refresh the page, uh, you will see that everything's going to uh, work again uh, without any uh, without any problem, okay? Uh, so the message would have been exactly the same if I know the database uh, would have been changed. Let's say, let's do something like this. Oops, actually I may be wrong, but let's see if uh, access denied for user to database. Okay, so it's almost the same, uh, almost the same message. It's a bit different because this one is that want to say, okay, that the name of the database is wrong. So I'm just gonna uh, change it. Uh, probably what changed for you guys is the password, right? So if I go, um, yes, if I go over here and if I do this, I say, okay, it does not match, so blah, blah, blah. Okay, so all you need to understand here 
is that you need to access to your new web hosting platform and to mention, um, so probably you will access it through SFTP, FTP, or SSH, uh, you need to access to the config.ini.php file and to change your credential here. So uh, by the one of uh, your new web hosting platform, and uh, probably it's uh, it's an email that they sent you once uh, you registered actually to this new platform that you decided to migrate uh, to. Once more, I have no shares at one and one. I could have put here OVH and here one and one. Doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, the big idea of this video is just to explain you uh, what was wrong and what was wrong is those credentials which need to be changed. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped. Thank you.